Hey, Shalom. <coughs> Shalak you. Hey, Shalom. All praise is going on unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakudash. The Bible said the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well through the scriptures, peace of the hopeful elect. This will uh, just be a, a quick lesson about uh, Joseph and Mary. They did have uh, sex, you know, to bring forth Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. Um, so I'm just going to go into it. Basically dealing with uh, uh, Matthew's chapters 1, verse 18 and 19. It says, now the birth of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, it says Jesus Christ, but Jesus, his true name Yahweh Shai, and Christ in Hebrew is Mashiach. All right, was on this wise. So basically, like, this is how his birth, this is how his birth was, all right? When as his mother, Mary was espoused to Joseph, all right? So Mary and Joseph were engaged, all right? So in this day and time, all right, you know, they, they Israelites, you know, they, um, Hebrew Israelites, so it's a um it's a whole process when it comes to uh marriage. All right, they were engaged, so that means that what at this particular time, she still stayed in her father's house. She still stayed with her parents. All right, she was she was promised to Joseph. All right, so they engaged, they spouse. Let's see, to woo her, ask her in marriage, to be promised in marriage, be betrothed. So she was promised in to Joseph. They were betrothed, engaged. Affianced, okay. <laughs> before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. So before they came together, let's look that part up. Okay. <clears throat> you see, this is uh in the Greek. All right, Matthew one and eighteen. Before they came together, she was found. All right. And commanded to come. Okay, let me see. Let me get my um my miser app. Before they came together, came together. To come together to a symbol of conjugal cohabitation. Now, conjugal cohabitation is conjugal. Uh what do you have when you when you think of when you hear the word conjugal? When people in, uh go to jail, they have what? Conjugal visits. So like right, what? If 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 you in jail and you got a wife, and you have a conjugal visit, that means your wife can come, and y'all can in engage in sexual activity, because that is your wife. You had a conjugal visit. Now, conjugal, what's cohabitation? Mean you living together, all right? So conjugal cohabitation mean you living together, and you having sex, all right? So let's go back to, uh, let's go to the Apocrypha real quick. Okay. Keep that in mind, the, the conjugal cohabitation part. All right, so this is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 42 and um, 9. It says, uh, The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep. When she is, when she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, and being married, lest she should be hated. Verse 10, this is the point. In her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. And having a, now that's the point. Lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. So Mary was gotten with child in her father's house. All right. So, let me go back to, all right. All right, she was gotten with child in her father's house, okay? It says, uh, Matthew 1 and 18 again, Now the birth of Yahweh Shai Mashiach was on this wise, when as his mother, I'm reading from my, oh, it's right, right here. When as his mother was espoused to Joseph, so she was promised to Joseph, before they came together, before they was living together, before everything was uh, uh, done in, in order, all right, the order that the, uh, which was the custom of the Israelites, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Now, they'll read the Holy Ghost, and then they'll think, oh, well, she magically became pregnant. Well, uh, a couple reasons why that that wasn't 
So, number one is because the scripture says he is the seed of David. So, only men carry seed. So, he has to be uh, uh, the offspring of David. All right? On his father's, on his father's side. Because your father determines your nationality. All right? Let me see. Uh, let me see. What is Solomon? It says, uh, I'm going to read uh, Rhythm of Solomon 7 and 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of light nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nursed in swallowing clothes, and that with cares. Verse 5. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. All right? So he was. Uh, so he's the seed of man. Okay? All right, now. When you read, uh, what is that? This is uh, John 6 and 63. 6 and 63. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words of the scriptures, that's what the Holy Spirit is, okay? It says, uh, she was gotten with, she was found, when you read uh, Matthew 1 and 18, it says, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. So she was found with child of the scriptures, meaning the, the child she was pregnant with was prophesied. When was it prophesied? It was prophesied. Isaiah prophesied it, all right? And when you further read the chapter in Matthew 1 and 18, it quotes Isaiah. It quotes, uh, it quotes this right here. Isaiah 7 14, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, you got to read, you got to go back to the original language of words, all right? Just like the, the, the Bible tells you in the book of Sirach, the prologue. The same words uttered, uh, uh, translated from Hebrew in another tongue have not the same force. So you'll read virgin and write uh, in English, and then you'll say, okay, well, she had never had sex, but virgin... In this case, in the Hebrew site, Lama, it says, Virgin, young woman of marriageable age, made a newly married. Meaning, this not saying that uh, she was never been touched. It's just saying she was, she was a young woman. Okay? Now, if it was a virgin that had never been touched, it would say, it would say, uh, let's see what it would say, Virgin. It would say uh, Bathwala in the Hebrew. Virgin. See? Just simply virgin. Ilama again, virgin young woman of marriage age, made a newly married. See? Okay, now, back to, uh, let me see. Verse 19, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example. Why? Because that would have been shameful. Okay. That would have been disgraceful for her to be pregnant, to, for her to be with child in her father's house. Okay. She was still in her father's house. Let me see if uh, I had some in the Bible hub. It said something. In the Greek, okay, a Mary before rather coming together. I was done when she was found in the womb having a child. I had looked up something. Let me see. Okay. 
Whatever. It's neither here nor there. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Okay. Right, so that was the point. It says, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example right, was minded to put her away uh, privily. All right, so he didn't want to uh, make her a public example. He didn't want her to be, you know, because that was shameful, you know, because you're supposed to, uh, you know, if you having sex and all of that, you're supposed to be living with your husband or whatever. But it was another point. Oh, yeah, verse 19, right? It says, then Joseph, her husband. Now, that's key because in the, in the scriptures, uh, uh, a man and a woman become husband and wife when they have sex. All right? That's what makes you uh, husband and wife, the, the act of sex. Even in today's society, you got something called consummate the marriage. Like, if you, if you marry someone and if you did not have sex, you can go and get a divorce like that. All right, you don't got to go through all the paperwork and all the lawyers. You can just get a easily get a divorce. Now, prove that. Okay. Let me see. Uh. Let me see. All right, this is uh, Genesis 24 and 67. Genesis 24 67. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, that her is Rebekah, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Le and took Rebekah, what? To take, laquak, get, fetch, lay hold of, seize, receive, acquire, buy, marry, take a wife, snatch away. All right. All right. All right. So they they had sex because this is the same word. Uh, this is the same word used. Uh, this is uh in the Hebrew they had people messed up about uh the the word rape. All right, and and so called turned it into the uh the so called rape doctrine, if you will. All right. When you read uh, uh in Deuteronomy, it's it's the same word. So they had sex. All right, and that's what solidified them being husband and wife. We can clearly just look up the word husband. Verse 19, then Joseph, her husband, look up husband. The first thing it says is with reference to sex, okay, of a male, of a husband, of a betrothal, or future husband with reference to age and to distinguish an adult male, any male, etc. But the very first thing it said was with reference to sex, all right? So, with that, Lord willing, this was Edifying Lesson, hopefully, let all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shalom.